everyone, I'm Muse, and welcome back to Muse Confused Art. This channel is where I share my art journey, and I hope that you'll share yours with me. And this week's video is a quick speed paint of the art that I made for Undertale's third anniversary. Um, I put up videos for each anniversary, so I didn't want to miss this one either. Last year, I talked a bit about what Undertale means to me personally and how it inspired me to pick up drawing again, so I'll try not to repeat myself a lot in this video. But Undertale continues to be a big source of creativity in my life as I work on a fan comic and I'm slowly teaching myself how to draw web comics through that project and that could be a whole other video topic in and of itself <laughs> but that fan comic is more on the alternate universe original fan character side of things so for today I want to talk about things in the game specifically that inspired me in my first playthrough one of which is the subject of the fan art that I made for this year's anniversary if you have not already guessed, I'm going to be discussing spoilers in this video, so if you've not played the game or want to play the game without spoilers, please stop this video and go play the game and then come back here later and tell me what you thought about it. <laughs> I love how even though this game like really blew up in 2015, a bit after it released, that there are still people discovering it and loving it and I don't want to ruin anyone's first playthrough experience. So, getting back on topic, playing through the game the first time when you're going through Toriel's house and then you look at the mirror at the end of the hallway and the flavor text says, it's you! I initially thought it was just really cute. I was already completely charmed with the game at this point since I was playing it to distract myself from some real life things going on and more cute flavor text was super appreciated. It didn't really fully hit me how well this was planned until I got to the end of the game and there's that black and white mirror version of the house where the only color is like from the flowers and you check the mirror again it says despite everything it's still you and that was a whoa moment for me I remember reading later that that line made some people cry and it didn't make me cry but I got like goosebumps I remember from reading that and again I don't want to repeat myself a lot from last year's video but since I was playing to distract myself from things I wasn't really dealing with in my life that line was the start for me of this game becoming something more to me personally it sort of reminds me of that quote um, which I tried to look up the source for and apparently it's disputed but anyway, the quote that goes, no matter where you go, there you are. It feels like despite everything, it's still you has a similar meaning to it. I know there's also a meta context specific to the game for this line, which we'll come back to in a second. And that's another reason why this line is really in my opinion. But I always interpreted no matter where you go, there you are to mean that you can't run from internal problems. You have to face them sooner or later and make peace with them. So in Undertale, there's that metagame narrative about who you choose to fight or kill or if you choose not to fight at all or if you choose to fight everyone. And the actions that you take as a player follow you through to the end of the game and in some cases even through multiple playthroughs of the game. So to me, despite everything, it's still you and no matter where you go, there you are, are, are very similar. While well, the line comments on your status in the game, it also got me thinking that first playthrough for me about internal things I was trying to run away from, but I couldn't because they were part of who I was and who I was becoming and I needed to face them. And that despite everything that had happened in my life, it was still me looking back at myself in the mirror and I needed to face that. So moving on to the art more specifically, for the last two anniversaries I've drawn group fan art of characters in the game but I haven't really done any specific moments. So I decided to draw this one in particular and take my own interpretation and style to it. My original plan was to have three images, first for It's You at the beginning of the game, which is what this image is, and then another one for Despite Everything It's Still You, and then the final one for It's Me for the other kind of playthrough you can have. <laughs> and as of recording this, I've only completed the one, so that's just how it's gonna have to be. <laughs> that's the anniversary image. And I, I'm glad I at least have this one because it's, it's a moment, just the progression of this moment still really sticks out in my mind. And I do want to try to do the other images I had planned for the set maybe later on, but I'm, I'm glad that I have something to have up for the day of the anniversary. I also wanted to challenge myself to actually draw a background since I've been lazy about backgrounds recently. <laughs> I've only been throwing in gradients behind characters and it's time for me to up my game a little bit more there. So I wanted to do the background, just the surrounding 
area in the game that's around the mirror there. Not anything too complicated, but you just break myself out of gradient backgrounds for a little bit. <laughs> so overall, happy anniversary Undertale. I love you. I will always love you for what you are and the inspiration that you've given to me to try things that at one point I never imagined myself attempting. Thank you Toby Fox for creating this amazing game and thank you for watching and listening to me ramble about this game <laughs> that I love so much. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. You can check out my other anniversary videos if you like. They are on the channel as well under a playlist. And again, thanks so much for watching, and until my next video, I'll see you then. Bye!